in Singapore. One ship, Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas, is sailing. And if you're sick of hearing about it and what it will be like, well, come on board the ship and see for yourself what cruising is like right now. Before you arrive at the port, you can pick up a boarding time. Then using the Royal Caribbean app, you can fully check in, completing all your information before you arrive. Once you complete each section, it will show that you're cleared to board. And you'll be given your mobile boarding pass. On arrival at the port, your temperature will be taken for the first time. You won't even know it's been done. Oh David, it's like magic, isn't it? It's like being in Harry Potter. Expecto Patronum. Oh, I have to say, I'm very jealous of all these lucky people being able to cruise. Then you'll need to pass a wellness screening. Your temperature will then be taken again and you'll hand in your health declaration form. If any symptoms are present, you'll be taken aside for a more in-depth screening before being allowed to board the ship. As you can see, masks are required at all points. And that's it, you're cleared to board, yay! Once on the ship, daily temperature checks will be taken at points around the ship, including when entering the buffet or restaurants. There are stations all around the ship. Passengers will be required to wear a bracelet for track and trace purposes. It will be able to identify if you've been in close contact with anybody with COVID on board. There's sanitizer outside of every venue. You must use it before entering. Now, the brand new muster drill. Crowded gatherings are no more. So you're going to watch the drill on the Royal Caribbean app on your mobile device or on your stateroom TV. Once you've finished watching, you look at where your muster station is and then check in with a crew member. Social distancing stickers will be used to keep you safe. And once checked in, you get a lovely little green sticker to say you've completed the drill. How very exciting. The kids clubs are still open but with brand new procedures to keep them safe, like reduced capacity and hand washing. Royal Caribbean even have their own hand washing video. Not the germs. Come on, everybody, sing along. Sorry, that's going to be stuck in your head. Like elsewhere, social distancing will be maintained and the use of masks. Before entering any activity, your temperature will be taken yet again. Everything is open, including the skydiving simulator. Luckily, no masks are needed inside. They would fly off in your face faster than you can say, fly off in your face. The surf simulator, the floor rider, is open too. With clear floor markings where you can wait and the crew will be wearing full PPE. And the C-Plex is open, with its dodgem cars or roller skating. Again, there's clear floor markings and masks are required. And all equipment is thoroughly cleaned after each use. That's a lot of extra work for the crew. The North Star is open with reduced capacity and social distancing. And once again, it's sanitised after each use. The pools and hot tubs are basically the same, but with socially distant sunbeds, and reduced capacities allowed in the pools and the hot tubs. We're not sure how we feel about wearing a mask when sunbathing, just think of the tan lines. The theatre has reserved seating with marked off seats in between. You'll be taken to your seat by a crew member and masks again will need to be worn. And then you can sit back, relax and enjoy the fantastic entertainment always found on Royal Caribbean. It's basically the same, except you're not sat next to anybody and wearing a mask. But the same. Then after the performance, the theatre will be deep cleaned. Now who are you going to call? Covid Busters! 
The 270 performance stage at the back of the ship works in exactly the same way as the theatre. You can still enjoy the amazing, fantastic performances and robotic screens. Even the dancers are wearing masks. That must be uncomfortable. Want to take your chances with Lady Luck? Well, you'll be happy to know the casinos are open too, but with socially distanced seating and markers. After each use, the machines will be thoroughly cleaned down. The crew are going to be so busy. And as you can see, this guy, he's wearing full PPE to keep him and you safe. This isn't your normal cruise vacation. How do you feel about it? Let us know in the comments below. Bars will also be operating, but with less seating. Certain seats will be removed or not in use to allow social distancing. Don't worry when drinking or eating, masks are not required. It would be physically impossible and very messy otherwise. The buffet concept has also changed. You must wash and sanitise your hands before entering. Instead of picking the food yourself with tongs, a crew member will kindly serve you. Ooh, come on. I need a bigger portion than that, please. Tables will be separated or closed to provide the correct social distancing. You'll also find some changes in the restaurants as well. Instead of a paper menu, you will scan a QR code on your mobile device to bring up the menu. And then when you're finished and leave the table, a team of crew members will quickly clean and sterilise the area. It looks like an army operation. They really know what they're doing. We're not sure about the high visibility jackets. We can see you fellas. Once the table is fresh and clean, certain seats will be cordoned off to allow for social distancing. You won't be able to share with anybody outside of your travelling party. All public areas of the ship will be deep cleaned and sanitised daily. High traffic areas will be constantly cleaned. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel so safe. No other form of transportation or vacation type is going to be safer than this. Technology will play a big part in the changes. You can see information about dining, shows and activities on your mobile device. You can also view your bill and charges at any point without having to go to guest relations. And finally, cabins will have a deep clean using electrostatic fogging after each sailing. Guys, can you believe that this is life now? We've got a guy looking like an astronaut washing down our room with fog. If you could tell yourself this last year, you wouldn't believe it, but this is life now. And that's it folks, thanks very much for watching and thanks to our amazing patrons as well. They get loads of extra behind the scenes footage, live episodes as well as extra episodes. The captain of the week is Amy, so ahoy there Amy. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps us out and let us know how you feel about cruising once it's allowed again. That's it till next time, happy, happy cruising! cruising.